With the US seeking to reboot denuclearization dialogue with North Korea, there have been some interesting developments in Pyongyang. For a start, leader Kim Jong-un, who made the unprecedented step of meeting personally with US President Donald Trump not once but twice between 2018 and 19, has been delegating more power to close aides while taking on the title of president this year rather than chairman, apparently in a bid for greater international acceptance. But we've also seen him create a role for a representative, according to an official amendment to the rules of the Workers' Party, which is enjoying more sway under Kim at the expense of the military. The title of the position first secretary of the party was previously held by the leader himself, so the possibility that someone might act on Kim's behalf in talks with the US, for instance, is intriguing. But who would that person be? The leader's younger sister, Kim Yo-jong, has been prominent in dealing with the US and South Korea. But aside from her blood relationship to the leader, which is a special position in itself, she doesn't appear to hold the political status right now to be first secretary, which is why a lot of analysts are paying close attention to Jo Yong-won, whose rapid rise has seen him dubbed Kim's shadow. In his mid-60s, Jo's been appointed secretary of the party's central committee and a member of the exclusive policy-making Politburo, from which Kim Yo-jong was notably removed. And we've also seen Joel wearing the same leather jacket as Kim, which seems to be the leader's effort to cultivate a new image for himself and for his inner circle. Joel also raised eyebrows when he strongly rebuked officials older than himself in the presence of his leader. Watch this space then, with Kim reappearing from another long spell out of the public eye last week to call a plenary meeting of the Workers' Party Central Committee though this first secretary position is thought to be destined long-term for Kim's successor from his own bloodline, barring a sudden emergency. For now, Joel may be someone the US need to get to know well under President Joe Biden. We know Biden's picked Sung Kim as his special representative to deal with North Korea. Just last week, US Deputy Secretary of State Wendy Sherman told reporters that the appointment of Kim signals Washington's readiness for dialogue as she also voiced hope that Pyongyang will take the US up on that possibility. Like Jo yong won Kim may also be busy with other affairs though. Sherman confirmed he'll double as US ambassador to Indonesia, raising questions about how committed Washington really is to dialogue. One thing's for sure, any representatives in talks will have to truly represent power in order to get anywhere, though it remains unclear how far either side is willing to compromise.